for joining us here in the garage, Kailua Shopping Center. It is a garage. Yeah. It's literally a garage. We're now in our 10th year presenting these concert series, along with I Love Hula in Kailua, one Sunday a month, and then I host the music series here, Kanikapila in Kailua, some of the most awesome Hawaii music, groups, entertainers, soloists. Today we have Hula, and um, <coughs> happy to announce a continuation of this concert series hosted by Alexander and Baldwin, hosted by me, and the uh, monthly schedule available on Alexander and Baldwin website. Amazing, amazing. Brother. Keep going. Hawaiian practitioner. Keep going. Kumuhula. That's right, baby. <laughs> Musician, composer, all around good guy. Mr. Gla Blaine Kia and the group, Kamanava. All right. Ooh. Thank you, Kavika. My good brother to my left, your right, Kali Kahalevai. We open with the blowing of the conch and uh, just to share with you a wonderful only of welcome. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yeah. 
again, aloha. Welcome to the beautiful Kailua, everybody. Your hometown. Mahalo. Thank you. Okay, my name is Blaine Kia Kalei Kahalewai. Uh, I'm born and raised actually in Kalihi and Kaimuki. Kalei is born and raised. Palolo. All right. But I live out here in Kailua. Been out here 22 years now. And Kalei is right in town. Yep. And so we've been playing together for about 20, no, 19 right. years. Right. Yeah. And so our duo, Kamanava, has been together for about 10 years or so. And so we often uh, found ourselves um, liking the sound that we had, so we decided to try and do things a little differently. We also have our halau, Kavai Kahila Nyumali, Kekahula Levai. Our lineage extends from the late Daryl Lupanui, also the late John Kaimikawa. So we're going to see what number we can share. Maybe Lei Nani? Can we do Lei Nani? Hey, Mai. So Lei Nani is one of those classic songs. Lei referring to the uh, decorative and adorning flowers and leis that often represent special occasions. Nani referring to that beautiful one where this lei is shared between two people. One of the classics in Mele, in that of the hula. So we're going to share some of our ladies from uh, Papa Liko and our Papa Lawa A classes. So it says, where are you, my sweet? My sweet leg indeed, come to me. Let us two be together. It's your love that I yearn for. All oh, the desire grows in my heart as I think of you so fondly. This union shall never be forgotten For surely you are this beautiful lady My beautiful lady indeed This is my song, my refrain of you, my sin. Come hither, let us two be together. ladies of our Papa Liko and our Papa Lawa'e. So, you know, the, Kale and I come from uh, uh, extensive backgrounds in more contemporary. When we are in the daylight, we play, <laughs> <laughs> we play mostly Hawaiian and some Malian contemporary. When the sun sets, that's a whole different story. He plays reggae, and I would often play rock back in the day, but he plays reggae at night, and we try to find that nice balance and compromise on some of the wonderful swing songs and Hawaiian classics. Here's one, uh, Hapa Haole Side. Hapa meaning it's in English, but it, has, it definitely has a Hawaiian feel and a Hawaiian emotion to it. Susiana, 
a wonderful maiden, travels the island chain, visits many people, family, friends, and colleagues, and finds herself getting involved with some beautiful things there upon the land, in the ocean, and in the skies. A little fun swing song. Susanne. Such pretty eyes, just right for me. Oh, yeah, oh, man, Susie and I. Yeah. She's got just pretty eyes, just right for me. Oh, yeah, oh, man, Susie and I. Gather flowers to string some nays beneath the palm trees, Susie and I. Yeah. We gather flowers to string some nays beneath the palm trees, Susie and I. Yeah. The big kill guitar. Some of our gracious ladies who are looking very gracious, very ooeyful today. So here's a fun song, Ahulili. A little bit on the rascal side of uh, poetic references to relaxation and things that you see that often uh, stimulate relaxation. Here's another classic among many schools of hula. This is our Papa Lehulu class of ladies. Hello, hello, 
Elili paha ko iana, a iki kau mau oleia, e kaa hotel tua hivi. Aloha no a hulili, elili paha ko iana, a iki kau mau oleia, a e kaa hotel tua hivi. E yano e ka olu ke ala ku paho wa ala bako ma ke ma ke e manene ya e koki no e yo e yano e ka olu ke ala ku paho wa ala bako ma ke ma ke so let's part of that. Pai o oe a pa ka i i ni me ka ano i ka ano i no ka pua ka beauty a o mauna hape. I'm so happy. Pai o oe a pa. Ka ini me ka ano i ka ano i no ka pua ka beauty a o mauna pe ha ina mai tapua na he aloha hui how's your lily he lily pa ha ko i ala ai ke ka umo ole. Aina mai tapuana, he aloha no ahu lili, he lili paha mo i ala, ai ki kau mau ole i a. Our papa lehulu, mai ka ya a o ya no. So if you're just joining us here in the beautiful east of Kailua, on the beautiful island of Afonda, aloha. Right on, on behalf of Alexander Baldwin, along with my good brother, Rika Vika Kahiapo, another great artist and entertainer. Come on, give a nice round of applause. I know he's just sitting back relaxing, but trust me, he deserves to do that as well. He gets to sit back and listen and uh, listen to us. <laughs> He's in control. He's in control. Take it easy now. Take it easy. <laughs> Here's a beautiful classic old song. Takes us back to the late 40s, early 50s. Written for a movie here. And it became uh, one of those favorites as it was also the theme song. Speaking of one of Hawaii's beautiful fragrant flowers called the yellow ginger. It was called the Lay of a Puhi made popular by the legendary Olomana. Hope you enjoy it. Thank 
call to me and the magic of these eyelids fills my heart with memory Ekualoha It's not called layover for him. Mm. Thank you. So here's another real beautiful classic. Um, back in the 70s, in the early 80s, when the Renaissance of Hula was occurring and Mary Monaco was getting very, very big, I was on the direction of Daryl Lupanui. Uh, we were a um, a male, all-male hula school. And we would often go to Maramonic to watch after a few years of entering. And we always would see the, the, the Wahine Halau perform certain hula songs that became just stuck in my ear for the many, many, many years. So I thought to myself, well, one day if I ever open a halau school with women, that I would definitely need to incorporate these particular mele because of such a beautiful tradition that it occurred back in those days going to Hilo and watching all these Wahine Halau perform these particular dances that just were embedded in my ears. One in particular was the song called Manu O'o. O'o is a beautiful bird, black one, now extinct. It was made of all black feathers, very few golden feathers on the chest. The ancient bird catchers would often catch these birds quite easily from the sap of the Ohi'a tree which sits one of Hawaii's most beautiful native blossoms called lehua. And this bird, this o'o bird, would, was always attracted to this tree. Never would it ever fail to visit this tree each and every day. There are beautiful stories that speak of the lehua blossom and this particular bird called the o'o. And for those of you that may know, the o'o bird and these beautiful little golden feathers, it took thousands and thousands of these feathers to make the ancient cloaks the Ahu'ula of our ancient kings. And so we share with you this beautiful love affair between the Ohi'a tree and the beautiful Lehua blossom and this beautiful bird called O'o. For you would often call and, and recall the beauty of coming together. Manu O'o. So cherishes this beautiful bird. Ah, 
so beautiful. Its feathers. There in the beauty of the calm. Oh, the nectar of your beauty. I call to you this beauty. Beautiful romantic song, Manu O O. Thank you. Maybe we can just bring our Papa Liko and see what they can do, and we'll kind of do a rotation with our ladies. Uh, we've been, uh, we're actually a very large nonprofit. We're actually 15 hula schools across five countries. And the reason for that is because a lot of our locals have moved away, they've transplanted all over the world. So hula has become a great vehicle for us to uh, keep a lot of these Hawaiians who live all across the states in the world, to get them involved in the culture. And hula becomes a very good vehicle, a good tool to keeping our people involved. And so we often uh, get to travel quite often to keep our, our organizations uh, up and current and maintain them. So a lot of the dances you see are actually shared among 14 other organizations and about 1,500 students to be, to be uh, approximate. So we share with you uh, So this is a, a chant. Um, many of our chants were actually later put to music. It was called the time of Kui, the Mele Kui or the Hula Kui, where a lot of instruments were, uh, were added to a lot of our ancient chants that made them very lyrical, and we started to put them into different brackets like uh, verses and measures and um, and this and this particular chant is called Heiia not the Heiia on this side of the island but the Heiia off of the island of Hawaii on the south end but it was known to be one of the more sacred surfing spots known throughout our kings our chiefs surfing was born and raised right here in the Hawaiian Islands it was reserved for our chiefs it wasn't to do Kahanu Moku who took surfing to the world and made it the world sport as it is today. So we take you to that surfing spot. 
dedicated to King David, Kalakawa, our last reigning king, for he too was an avid surfer, always trying to impress all the people, all his subjects, his people there upon the sands, as the ocean and the swells would often christen cross, like his emotions. So I call it Hei'i'i'a. So uh, a lot of my family is there. Well, I got my two daughters are working at Nichols tonight. My wife's a bartender at Nichols. We met 22 years, 23 years ago. My wife was a bartender. My mom was a bartender for 38 years in Waikiki. So, you know. So I'm going to have my wife come and share a hula. We've been married 22 years. It's always good to share the wife. Happy wife, happy life. And Kalei's been married how long now, brother? 29. 29? Whoa, you're going on your 30. Kavika, how long have you been married? 40. Holy mackerel. So here's a song that my dad would often sing. Uh, my late father, Abraham Kia, was a well-known entertainer in Waikiki. Would play all over. My mom worked for Spence Cliff. And worked for the old Biltmore Hotel, for those of you who might remember, uh, Queen Surf, Tops, Schooners, you name them. And I would eat all the cherries on the bar. And my dad would often sing this particular song. And I started doing this song when I was dating my wife back then. But 22 years later, they're no longer calling me her dad. So that's a good thing. No, I'm not kidding. I, we get done playing. I get off stage. They come up to her and says, Oh, you dance so beautifully, and your dad sings so well. And we're only seven years apart. 
So to all you uh, wonderful couples out there, a song called Crushed Flowers. I have only crushed flowers left in my lay since you caressed me, my darling, and sailed away. White orchids and gingers I hold to my heart. Oh, please come back to me, my darling, never to part. A new love may tempt me, but I'll always be true. I'm watching and waiting for this paradise for you. I'll be waiting with new lace, a cool ball to be crushed in our embrace, dear, cause I love you so. A new love may tempt me, but I'll always be true. I'm watching and waiting for this paradise for you. I'll be waiting with new legs, a cool to be crushed in our embrace, dear, cause I love you so. To be crushed in our embrace, dear, Cause I love you so Cause I love you so Ooh. Yeah, a song my dad would often sing My wife, Leo so I have three kids, so he's seen the ladies dance, and uh, we still got a lot of time. So I'm going to bring my son up, my one and only son, seventh grader, Kamehameha School. Come on, bro, shake and bake, man. Let's see what you got. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yes, sir. He comes up. He tells me what song he wants to dance. So we're going to take you to uh, the island in front of you, or well, kind of, towards the uh, uh, northwest or northeast actually to the island of Kauai, the oldest island of the island chain. Take you to the east side of that island, a beautiful shoreline known as Lumahai. It was made famous for the great musical South Pacific Bali High. Parts of Blue Hawaii were filmed at that luscious shoreline. But to our ancient kings and queens, it was a place where they would often find rest and relaxation. They'd get upon those reefs and slip and slide. Uh, if you haven't been on that side of the island from Kalihivai all the way to Ke'e or Makana for that matter, some of those reefs are so smooth, you can actually run and slide, and you will slide forever. And when the, during the high tides, all that fish comes in, and they often would play with them. And so the song speaks about that beautiful place of Lumahai. But when Lumahai gets about six to eight feet, you don't even want to go close to the water. It's just really massive. We take you to the spot. Um, back in the day when I used to uh, dance hula, I was taught this very peculiar hula basic step called pe'e lua. And pe'e lua is like a heel toe thing, often describing what it's like to slip and slide on the reefs of Lumahai. But for many years, we called it Michael Jackson, Hawaiian style. <laughs> Hawaiian style. <laughs> Come on. Aloha, no, andale ika uanu. Here we go. Hepaki ka, ikalim o manua te pa. Aloha, no, andale ika uanu. Here we go, Michael. Hepaki ka, ikalim o manua te pa. To a place called Lua Lua Lane. Oh, oh. 
left the building. <laughs> nice to be young and get all those claps. Here's one of our all-time favorites. Yeah, we dedicate this to a good brother behind us, Kavika Kahiapu, who's a great example of our, our Hawaiian music and our genre of Hawaiian music. This is right up his alley. We feature Mr. Kaleika Halevai, a song taking us to the beautiful island of Hawaii, a song of contemplation. A song that uh, reminds us of all the beauty that we have around us. For a man gets upon that beautiful hill, the place known as Keokaha. We take you there now. Beautiful song entitled Kaleohano.
mauna kea i ke anu o ke ahi ahi o olo o olo no o olo o olo no o olo no i ka leo hamaka. We go back there. All right. Mr. Kalika Holly Boy on bass. We're going to bring our leg Hulu back up. We share with you a beautiful song called Mahina Hoku. We are just about the full moon. It was uh, coming about, got full about, uh, just about at Zine at noon at Ku today. Or was it yesterday? Can't remember. But the full moon is one of those things that often uh, shares in the beauty of romance. Because when the moon is full, people tend to go out and walking. And there you see the beauty of the new, or the beautiful coconut trees that often play with the moon and when the coconut tree plays with the moon the stars come out and so is the mo'olelo <laughs> mahina hoku oh hell Oh, hey, a vale, oh, mahina hoku, oh, ike, a e, oh, ahi ko Me ha me ha na 
Hinohoku, one of those beautiful ballads in hula. Mahalo. We just learned that one. So did I. Here's one of my all-time favorite songs. Probably one of the most harder songs to do for us. But it's one of those songs that, you know, either you get it right the first time or you just don't. And, you know, it's, you know, we, it's one of those songs where it's always a good challenge. So it speaks about the beauty as you come up to the Pali from uh, town coming up east. That beautiful right side and the ridge and that mountain range of Nu'uanu. On a beautiful, beautiful, luscious, rainy day, you can see the beauty of, the, of those waterfalls, the Vailele. A beautiful song written by um, Jay Koka, very dear friend and companion and classmate of the Brothers Council, wrote this beautiful mele that speaks of all those beautiful waterfalls that sometimes, often you cannot see from the road unless you hike your way into these different beautiful areas. And what waterfalls can do for people. We we'll share with you uh, one of our all-time favorites. I feature my wife in this beautiful song. And for all you people who have family, it's one of those songs we like to dedicate to all the families.
Okay, in case you're wondering, they do have CDs available, just not today. <laughs> Once again, thank you all for joining us here at Kani Kapila in Kailua. I want to welcome you next month, June 22nd, hosting two Slack Key Masters, Jeff Peterson and Ian O'Sullivan. Come down and hear some of the best Slack Key in Hawaii, here in the garage, Kani Kapila in Kailua. Put your hands together and welcome again, Brother Blaine, Brother Kalei, Kamanava. All right. All right, we're going to change it up a little bit. Just imagine it's one o'clock in the morning. Just kidding. A couple of Bob Marley tunes. Just for you guys. You said you love me, and I said I love you. So why don't you stop your little crying? Dry your weary eyes. 
And you know I love you Ooh, ooh, ooh baby Here I am I Come a rub upon my belly Like guava jelly Oh, oh, oh Ooh, baby Here I am I Come a rub upon my belly Like guava jelly oh, Guava, guava jelly you said you love me and I said I love you so why don't you stop you little crying and dry your weary eyes and you know I love you Ooh, 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 ooh baby Here I am I come rub upon my belly like guava jelly Ooh, baby Here I am I come rub upon my belly like guava jelly a guava, guava jelly, a guava, guava jelly, hey, a guava, guava jelly, a guava, guava jelly, ooh, stir up, little darling, stir it up, oh, come on, baby, come on and stir it up. Since I got you on my mind Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah Now that you are here I say it's okay To see what we can do, baby Just me and you so we can steer it up A Little darling, steer it up I know that we can steer it Come on and steer it up, oh, 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 little darling, steer it up. It's Calais at about yeah. one o'clock in the morning. Here we go. Lord of mercy, I'll make you steer it up. Carry on, make you steer it up. Lord, I'm a little baby, make you steer it up. So make you steer it up. Carry on, make you steer it up. Lord, I'm a little baby, make you steer it up. Stir it up, mix it up in all the morning time. Boom! Mix it up in all the evening. When we wake up in the morning, till the sun not shine. Stir it up, girl, make me feel so bad. Why don't you quench me? Yeah, man. So when I'm thirsty, come on, cool me down, baby. When I'm ah, yeah. Well, your recipe, little darling, is so tasty. And you sure can't stir your pot, so stir it up. Yes, I. Well, little darling, stir it up. I know that we can stir it. Come on and stir it up. Oh, 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 oh. little darling, stir it up. Yeah. Come on, come on and stir it up. <laughs> A lot of mercy. <laughs> hey, I'm a, about two o'clock in the morning now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sound like Don Ho by two o'clock in the morning. How you doing now? We're going to bring our hula dancers back up. Maybe uh, like Ku'u Hoa, Kakou. Hey, Ku'u Aloha, sure. Yeah, hey, Ku'u Aloha would be nice. One of the great um, mo'olelo or stories of Hawaii that really depicts the, uh, the noteworthy occasions of the hula in the earlier days, maybe 15th century or so, is the fire goddess Pele, who was a living, breathing human being. Actually came off from the far distant lands of Pola Pola. The ancient name of Boroboro is called Vavau. 
As a young adult, she came along the most southwestern shoals along with her youngest sister, Hi'iaka, and her brother, Kamoho Ali'i. And they would travel until they came across Ni'ihau, Nihoa, landed on the island of Kauai, and from there began her travels along the island chain. It wasn't until uh, later on in the origin of, of that time that, sh that Pele met a beautiful, handsome prince from the island of Kauai. His name was Lohia Wipo. So he, uh, long story short, Pele sends Hi'iaka on this perilous journey all the way from Hawaii Island, all the way to Kauai, to bring back her lover, Lohiau. Hi'iaka begins, begins to travel back with Lohiau, but Hi'iaka too falls in love with Lohiau. And so there's the triangle of Pele, Hi'iaka, both in love with this handsome prince. This mele speaks about the beauty of, of love, the power of love, and what it can do if it's misused. And so the song and composition was written by Kavai Kapo Kalani Hewitt, who is uh, born and raised in Maka'ainana, all the way from the area of Heiia. We share this song with all of you. It's all about love.
one of those beautiful love songs of Pele and Hi'iaka. Shall we try it? We love Kauai. Kauai is my favorite island. And my first teacher, uh, Daryl Lupanui, we would always go to Kauai Island all the time. One of our favorite places to go. Take you to the beautiful island of Kauai once again. Kauai is so beautiful, luscious, tallest mountain there. Wai ale ale, more water than any place else in the world. Sacred to the hula and so many wonderful uh, things that speak about our culture that uh, blends along the island chain all the way to, uh, to the island of Hawaii where Pele dwells. We'll share with you a song that depicts the true beauty of Kauai. Speaking of the uh, the beautiful rains down in Hanalei all the way to uh, Barking Sands to the west side of the island we take you on this wonderful journey
to the other car, Arlen Hulu. Hey, not bad oh, for hello, not ladies. doing that for a while. All right, my man. You gotta do your dance, bro. You've been sitting there way too long, man. Come on, let's go. Let's shake and bake again. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Kiko! <laughs> <laughs> See, my kids don't like introducing me to their friends because I'm the crazy dad. <laughs> my dad's crazy. You don't want to meet him. <laughs> 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 All right, so we're going to share with you uh, a song taking you to, again to the island of Hawaii. Beautiful village area community known as Laupahoi Hoi. They raise a lot of young men, broad shoulders, strapping shoulders, big muscles, like my son. And they would uh, often help with the, with the villagers, help with the machinery, the farming, you know. And so it became very popular and well-known about this strap young men. A song entitled Lapa Hoi Hoi and those broad shoulders. From the mountains all the way down to the sea, fishing in the ponds and the rivers and streams, getting upon the canoe, paddling to go fishing for all the people. You name it, the boy from La Pahoy Hoy did it. And here is the boy from La Pahoy Hoy. Hey, my yo, boy, la. Apa la Pahoy Hoy, la. A ki hi 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 na po o ki vi la. A bu kon na kon na ke ki no la. Hey, my yo, boy, la. Apalapahoihoela, <laughs> Ka i honna mena alula I ki ka hawae aku aula A i ko o opuna baula Ho oi va a, here you go! A he ho e va a i ka hana la A i ki ka i hanu pa nu pa la A o le a pa me ho po la A i na a le o ke kei A he ho e va a i ka hana la A i ki ka i hanu pa nu pa la a o he a pa me o po la I na a le o ke kai Let's go eat some poi Ho i mai au i ka hale la A nui nui a miki a hi la A pu ono ono o loko la Oh it makes my body strong Ho i mai au i ka hale la A nui nui na miki a hi la A pu ono ono o loko la Apuana, <laughs> All the people who live in Kailu, who lives in Kailu, and make some noise. That's what I said. All right. This to our neighbors back there, our hussies. Come from a well-known family of composers as well. Kumanilu, 
to Waikoloa. I saw you standing, you guys all standing and figure, okay, change the song. So this is the first song I learned as a hula dancer back in 1978. And this is all Daryl Lupanui's choreography. And this is Legacy on behalf of, again, Kavika Kahiapo behind us, along with uh, Alexander Baldwin and this beautiful afternoon here in beautiful Kailua. Please give it up for Kailua, such a beautiful place. Thank God for the breeze. We'll leave you with the beauty of Waikaloa. Ayahi Waikaloa, Pumbeho Okipamali, Pumehana Meke Aloha, I Kaleo Okamakamaka. Ayahi Waikaloa. Omeho o kipo mali hini Umehana meke aloha I kaleo kamaka maka Huliaku Huliaku au mahalo I kanania o ka uwiki O ia nani no ia O ka hale ipu kukui Ole aku au mahalo i kanani au kau wiki o i anani no ia o kahale i puku ku Waikolo is in the area of Hana on the island of Maui. O kano e a kau a keha kau lana ne a o Hana me kau a malu a lua. E kanoe, the mist of the malua lua that comes in. O kanoe a kaua keha, kalana ne a ohana, a me kaua malua lua. E uhaiana e kanoe. It's the birthing place of Kaahumanu, the queen of Hawaii. Ai na mai tapu ana, ai kalawa i kahano ha. O meho o ki pa malihini He beauty mai oli no Hai na mai tapu ana Wai koloa i kahano hano O meho o ki pa malihini He beauty mai oli no From all of us, all of you Mahalo, good night and upon aloha All right, everybody. Have a beautiful evening. All right. Thanks for joining us. Tuka Vico. June 22nd, Jeff Peterson. Ian.